Hi everyone, this is Terry. Today we're continuing our studies on the Luminaire. This is part of a series that I'm recording for new owners, although it is good for everyone because you'll learn probably a lot more about your machine if you watch the, this series. And you'll notice that they're numbered, so that way you can follow as to what's the next lesson. I'm building on skills, so I hope that you will watch the videos. We're going to go into embroidery. You'll notice I have my mouse attached. I'm going to use my mouse because honestly, it keeps my hands away from the screen so you can see things. All right, we're going to go back and work with fonts some more. And there are a couple of things that I want to sh show you that are in the embroidery edit menu that you may not be familiar with. So the first thing we're going to do is select a font. I chose number two and I want to type the word love in upper and lower case letters. So I'll just type L-O-V-E and I'll choose set. Now when you choose set, you're basically working with an embroidery design. I can move it around on the screen if I want. But one of the other things, I can go to edit, and if I wanted to resize it here, I can do that. You see that I can resize it, and you also see that there is the ability to change again between large, medium, and small. I want it to be large, so we'll, we'll just choose OK. If you went down to the text menu and you go to size, guess what? you have the very same screen. And in this case, we can go ahead and make this larger if we want to. So let's just go ahead and make this as large as we can. And you heard it click and I'll choose okay. Now what I want to do, I can set that because setting saves it. I can go in and let's just change the thread color and go to three spools, you'll notice everything's selected, and let's make that all red and choose OK. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I want to add some additional letters to this and make this more like word art. So what we're going to do is choose Add, and we want to go back to text, and I'll choose a um, character type that I want. And I'll just go back and choose number two. And I'm going to type IFE because I'm going to reuse this L here. So let's go IFE and let's just choose set. Let's move this down here. And what we're going to do is go back to edit but the, and go to text. But we're going to go to array. And what I want to do is I want to realign this so that it's aligned differently. So I'll go to alignment and I'm going to make that IFE at 90 degrees. So let's just watch it move. And I'm holding down my left mouse button, but you can do this with your finger or you could use your stylus. It'll move slowly, but give it a moment and it'll realign itself at 90 degrees. Now, obviously you could do a separate letter on each line if you wanted to, but I want to show you different ways that you can do things on your machine. So let's give it a moment. And we're almost there. And I want you to notice that when you're in this screen, you'll, you have the ability to also move things in different positions. Okay, that looks like that's right at 90 degrees. Let's just use the arrows and let's move it down and to the left. All right, I like that. Now what I want to do is go to spacing and I do want to space that out some because it's too close together. And again, let's just move it down and maybe to the left a little. All right, and choose OK. Now, I, I don't know if you notice on the spacing screen, you notice you can select individual characters. You can select the entire word, and in this case, it's IFE. Or I could have selected an individual letter and used this arrow to move back and forth. If you have upgrade kit, one, you also have the option of choosing 
to select letters and you can select multiple letters and make changes. As you can see, I have the I and E selected here. I really don't need to do that. I'm just going to choose OK. Now I'm going to choose set because if I choose cancel, I will lose these changes. So let's choose set. And again, this is working like an embroidery design. So I think I'll just move love up and I'll just move life up a little bit there. And now what I want to do, I do want to make a few more edits. So I want to select love. We'll go to edit. Let's go back to text. And I want to go over here to the right side where you see the A's because we're going to change some of the font on this. And I want to change an individual letter I'm going to move it over to the L, and I do want to change it to font 17. Now you notice it resized it, that's okay. Don't worry about it. I'll choose okay, and I'll go ahead and go to size, and let's just make that larger. And I like that, so we'll say okay. And now what we're going to do is we'll set that design. And now we're going to select the IFE. Let's go to edit and we're going to go to text. And again, we're going to change that font and I want that to be number 17 as well. I'll choose okay. And I think that I need to resize that too. So let's stretch this out a little bit. You always want to stretch out your life, don't you? And uh, we'll move it over. And there we go. And let's make that a little bit long, uh, lower, excuse me, and I'll choose OK. OK, let's go ahead and choose Set. So now we have Love Life, and let's add another design. Now you can go ahead and add any design you want. We have a our built-in shapes here. So since we have love here, let's just go ahead and choose one of these hearts. And I like that one and I'll choose set. And I think given that we have this beautiful red, we, let's change that so that it is a different color. And let's see, I've made a decision. I really don't want that heart. So I'm going to choose undo and undo again and now it's gone. Now I'm going to add a heart but I'll choose a different one. So let's go to the heart and let's choose this heart and let's choose set. Let's move it over here and I like that because it has the red and black and I think that looks good but it does need to be larger. So we'll go to edit, we'll go to size and we're going to resize it. And that may be a little bit too large. I think what I'll do is move it like that. And that looks pretty good. We'll choose OK. If you're satisfied with your design, it's a good time to save it. We'll save it to memory. And I don't have a USB stick on my machine, so I'm going to save it to the memory of my machine. Now, let's just go look at it and we'll zoom in so you can see what it looks like and let's just see how it would stitch out. We'll speed up the stitch player and here we go. You can tell that our machine has some beautiful fonts that are built in and we have some nice shapes that we can choose. This would be a very quick design for you to make, for instance, on a quilt block or perhaps on a a towel that you wanted to give to somebody and I hope you like this lesson and this design. I'm Terry Maffitt. I appreciate you watching my videos. I do have a Facebook group called Just Stitching with the Brother Luminaire. We have close to 2,000 members. Please consider joining us in that group and subscribe to my videos. That way you'll know when a new video is available. I appreciate you watching my videos and I appreciate your comments. I do answer those comments 
And I also respond in Facebook as well. It may take me a while because right now I have about 5,000 people that are en enjoying these videos. Thank you so very much for your time today. I, as always, I appreciate your time. Thanks and have a great day.